Hello everyone. So first of all, I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and threw a, a like and a comment in my direction. Uh, you know, it's much appreciated. And you know, I'll just uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing and see how it goes. But yeah, um, very much appreciated. So in this video, I'm going to cover how I do my initial curve and levels adjustments in Photoshop. I'm also going to cover a few other things. Um, and introduce you to a plugin that I use later on in my imaging process. So if you're new to imaging processing, uh, you know you're more than welcome to join me and follow along. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. So basically, what I'm going to do is the starting point of what I do on pretty much all my deep sky astrophotography images. Now, what you see here is the stacked. Auto save TIFF file that's come out of Deep Sky Stacker. Um, and I've got all the, I've sort of changed the file names so all, all up there, the details of the image. So let's crack on. So the first thing I like to do when I've brought into Photoshop is get rid of the stacking artifacts. And I don't know if you can see sort of the dark edges here. And this is what I'm talking about. And so what I'm going to do is just going to go over to the left hand side again, go on the crop tool. And I'm just gonna just crop the edges off. Don't want to take too much off, it's just to get rid of these artifacts. There we go. Happy with that. So from here, I'm gonna go up to image mode and go down to 16-bit channel. This is the first thing I like to do before I start doing any adjustments. And you just want to go to in this menu here, go to method. And just click on the drop down menu. And I like to go to Exposure and Gamma. And I tend to leave the sliders alone. You know, by all means, if you want to have a play around with it and see what it does and that, you can. But uh, no, I like to leave them alone. So just press OK on that and we are ready to go. So, first things first, I'm going to bring up a layer. So if you, you can see on the right hand side here, I've got like a layers panel if you like. So all I'm going to do is just press Control, Shift, Alt, N for November and E for Echo, all at the same time, and that'll bring up a new layer. Now the reason I bring up a new layer is for something called non-destructive editing or non-destructive processing. So if I make a mistake in this layer, I can always just get rid of it, put it in the bin, and create a new layer and crack on. So once I've done that, I'm going to go back up to image and this time I'm going to go to adjustments and then go along to levels. Some people start with curves, um, you know, again, if you want to have a play around and try with curves first, but I like to start off with levels and we've got the histogram here. So all our data is crammed here in this uh, like white spike if you like. And I'm just going to bring these sliders in. I'm just going to bring it up to the edge here. Now I don't want to start going in into the data because you're going to start clipping the data and making the well pretty much destroy the image. Uh, start losing all the detail and colour, etc. I'm going to go up to the right hand side here and pull in the slider again, just to the edge. Now the centre slider, you, you can adjust that. Uh, and the mid-tones. Again, you don't you don't want to really start going into this data and as you can see, if I do that, I'm going to start washing it out and so I'm just going to take it back to where, roughly where it was and press OK on that. Next thing I'm going to do, go back with image adjustments and curves. And I'm just going to start bringing this up. Now, in this certain sense, you know, less is more. You know, you don't want to start really sort of going up here, right? Because you are going to start losing data. As you can see, if I do that, it's really aggressive. It's uh, it's going to ruin the image. So you just want to just bring it up a little, like so. Maybe bring it up down here as well. And I'm happy with that. We're going to come back here anyway, so I'm just going to press OK on that and go back to my levels image adjustment levels and i'm going to bring this in again
and again go back to the curves image adjustment curves and just bring this up again and as you can see all that lovely colour and detail is starting to come through it was hidden so what we're doing is we're just teasing it out I'll just leave it there for now okay I'll go back to my levels again I'm just gonna have a quick look at that I'm mm, getting a little and one more on the curves just bring that up a bit and just leave it there for now okay so what I tend to do now is anything that I don't really want in the image so all this area here I'm not really interested in and a little bit on the other sides as well so I'll tend to do another crop just to get rid of that uh, I don't do a full crop because I normally do that in the end of my image processing but I just want to get rid of some of the stuff that I, I don't really want I'm just going to bring that in a bit like so maybe bring this up as well no, why not we'll, we'll bring it in there as well happy with that okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back to my levels and maybe just bring that a touch in and finish off with a more precise curves adjustment I don't want to go as aggressive as I did so I'm just going to bring that up but that's maybe a little too light for my liking so I'm just going to bring that down a little there we go maybe bring that down a little bit more and there you have it so I don't know if you have noticed all the data here what we've done is we've stretched it a bit more across the histogram to bring out all the detail and colour uh, hence the name stretching so that is pretty much it for the initial curves and levels adjustment and from here you know I'm, I would tend to start looking at balancing out the background uh, bring up the vibrance and the saturation a bit of select a mask and you know and find selecting different areas of the image to to bring out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a, a plugin that I purchased uh, called astronomy tools action set and uh, it's sometimes known as uh, Carboni's tools it costs about I think about 22 US dollars which is roughly around 16 pounds um and well worth the money uh, you know i don't think it's that expensive and if you're using it all the time you know you, you're going to get your money's worth so first of all what i'm going to do here is just create a new layer now what i'm about to do here is not something i typically do this early on in my imaging process uh, but i'm just going to show it anyway because it is Powerful. So first of all, I'm going to show you the noise reduction tool in this action set. So first of all, I'm going to go to space noise reduction. I'm just going to press play, and it's going to do its own thing. Puts up a temporary layer, does its action, and then comes back. So I'm just going to zoom in. So the way to zoom in, or the way I zoom in, is Control Plus or equals. And I'm going to zoom in on that and I'm going to go back to my layers I'm just going to show you the difference here quite subtle I'm just going a bit more just so you can see and I think you can see you can see there's a bit of a difference what I'll do is I'm going to do that again I'm just going to go through the process again and here we go so 
put it there and just there you go quite a dra dramatic difference if I just zoom back out which is control minus sign and just click on, on and off there it's a little difference here so I'm just going to create another layer here and show you another powerful tool and that is make stars smaller so I'm just going to press play on that I'm going to do this a few times and while this is doing this uh, just maybe go back on the noise reduction um, early on in my when I was learning how to process in Photoshop I tend to overdo the noise reduction and sharpening and the image would look quite plasticky and yeah I would quite often ruin the image by doing that so there is a fine balance between the two uh, we're just on our third go on the stars I'm just gonna go to the layers here and you're gonna see a dramatic difference um, so if I just zoom back out here and I'll just click off that layer as you can see it's starting to bring out all a lot more detail rather than a sea of stars and it's really starting to make the all the, uh, the detail and colour pop so I'm going to show you another action I'm just going to create another layer and this time I am going to go down to enhance the assault and reduce stars now this action does take a while it can take a while, a few minutes um, but it is quite powerful uh, sometimes maybe too much uh, but I'll show you something where you can actually bring that down a little um, so while this is doing its thing I'll, uh, I'll just stop the video and then uh, get back to you ok so it's done its thing, I've just clicked off the top layer there um, and this is the before image and this is uh, after I have done the enhanced ASO and reduced stars and there you go and you see quite a dramatic difference now like I said if you think that's a little too much you can always go to the opacity I actually discovered this quite late on uh, you guys just if I bring it all the way back take it it takes you back to the sort of image before we did the action so if I bring that halfway and bring it up a bit all the way so you, can, you can bring that down a bit I actually am quite happy with that so I'm just going to leave that there I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to create another layer and do something else uh, something that I can do and we'll just go back up there image adjustments and go to my levels I'm just gonna go to the red channel and if I just bring that in a bit you can see I'm, I'm sort of take the edge off it if you like like so I'll leave it there and there you have it if I just click off these few layers from that to that What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, merge the visible layers and there you have it so there you go the initial stage in Photoshop curves and levels adjustment stretching your data that first stage in creating your final image and a few other things that will help you along the line in your processing so I hope this video has helped in any way and on that note, happy processing everyone and clear skies.